Hello everyone and welcome to The Vortex where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. Church Milton has become aware that dozens of requests from faithful Catholics have flooded into the Papal Nuncio's office in Washington, D.C., requesting that Archbishop Alan Vigneron be removed from his seat in Detroit and a formal investigation into sexual abuse cover-up begin regarding him. This, of course, is the required protocol laid out directly by Pope Francis when a bishop or an archbishop himself is accused of abuse cover-up. The Pope's directives were mandated following the so-called Sex Abuse Summit in Rome in February of 2019, following the previous Summer of Shame where the McCarrick revelations all came pouring out. If you'll recall, according to the directives, when a high-ranking archbishop is accused of either an actual sex abuse himself or covering it up, he must be removed from his post while an investigation begins initiated by the Papal Nuncio, the Vatican's ambassador to the United States. The case against Vigneron keeps mounting as he is named in now two civil lawsuits, each one accused of covering up sex abuse. In both cases, the accused priest hid out on archdiocesan property before fleeing the country. Sneaking out in the dead of the night comes to mind. In each case, Vigneron had independent knowledge of charges of abuse by each priest, but completely disregarded the information. In the first case, he allowed the accused predator priest, Father Kroll, to become chancellor of Orchard Lake Schools, where additional cases of sexual harassment and revenge allegedly occurred as laid out in the first lawsuit. Vigneron is on the board and was told firsthand about Kroll's history. He ignored the warnings and was celebrant at Kroll's installation mass. In the second case, Vigneron transferred the priest, Father Aloysius Volskis, to a second parish after charges of sex, sex abuse and harassment at the prior parish.